we are going to talk about the polyene antifungals an important class of antifungal agents first we'll talk about the pharmacology these polyenes antifungal they have the polyene macrolide structure polyenes means they have many double bonds macrolides mean they have a large macrocyclic ring usually more than 12 atoms so because of that structure we call them polyene macrolide antifungals right the commonly available polyene antifungals are the amphotericin b nystatin and natamycin right how do they work they work by binding to the ergosterol in the fungal cytoplasmic membrane and making holes in the cytoplasmic membrane when the holes are made in the cytoplasmic membrane fungal contents will leak outside and that results in loss of cell viability right so that is how they uh, cause fung uh, destroy fungal infections right by binding to ergosterol and causing cell uh, damage cytoplasmic membrane damage first we'll talk about amphotericin, amphotericin b is a water insoluble form so it's given only intravenous form and it is not absorbed systemically right so it is given only as an iv infusion right there are two forms of the medication sodium sodium disoxycholate and the other one is as a lipid demulsion we call this like we call it as liposomal amphotericin b so the commonly used form is the liposomal amphotericin b the lipid form right but there is also a sodium sodium disoxycholate form right amphotericin b has poor penetration into csf right therefore if there is a serious CN, cns infection we have to give it intrathecally right so amphotericin b is, b is used only in the life threatening fungal infections especially disseminated candidiasis systemic mycosis such as histoplasmosis blastomycosis coccidiodomycosis and even uh, deep sporotrichosis infections which is a subcutaneous fungal infection Right. And protein B has, you know, a lot of side effects. Right. Commonly, they have nausea, anorexia, anorexia, and vomiting. Right. And they also cause some immediate side effects. These immediate side effects are related to the the allergic response. Right. They include fever, chills, and hypotension. Right. Actually, these allergic uh, responses, allergic manifestations, can be minimized by giving antihistamines before starting amphotericin B infusion. right that can we can avoid this uh, i mean minimize actually a uh, lot of these allergic uh, side effects right then the drug goes away as long term effects such as it is nephrotoxic right because the drug causes vasoconstriction of the afferent arteriole of the kidney right so that it reduces the gfr right actually if we, if we continue right if we don't uh, consider about renal nephro nephrotoxicity and if we continue and it can result in irreversible renal damage right but anyway this renal toxicity is less with liposomal amphotericin b right drug the amphotericin b also can cause anemia right because it can suppress the erythropoiesis by because there is suppression of the erythropoietin production by amphotericin b then the other two medications nystatin and natamycin actually these are available only as topical preparations right nystatin is a topical antifungal agent it is not absorbed systemically it is used to treat candidiasis of the skin vagina uh, and oral mucosa only topical infection right vagina for the vaginal uh, infection we have the vaginal suppositories for the skin we have skin creams right and oral infection we have the oral lozenges natamycin is available only as an ophthalmic solution and it is used to treat corneal infection usually caused by aspergillus and fusarium solanum so that's all about the polyene antifungals if you have any questions please uh, put them in the comment section below and also please uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future lectures thank you